YouTube, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day today. We are back bringing you guys some more ranked competitive bell battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys yet another absolute banger of a team. We're rocking out with a Life Orb Frostball team that features Hatterene and then you got Calyrex and Kyogre as our two restricted mods. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'll wait. Seriously, I'll give you guys two seconds. There you guys go. It only takes two seconds of you guys' time to subscribe. So if you didn't subscribe by that time, get on at it. Bounce boogie skedaddle. Just kidding. Stay a little longer. Check out the video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. But yeah, like I said, we're rocking out with a nice little Frostmoth team. Looking to have some fun with it and showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Hatterene. A great Gen 8 Pokemon right here with Magic Bounce and the Focus Ash. We got Trick Room. We got Heal po Pulse. Brutal Swing and Magic Powder. So this Pokemon's kind of just here for support. It's here to pop a Trick Room, heal up ally Pokemon with a Heal Pulse. Brutal Swing is there to proc weakness policy onto our Calyrex. Then last but not least, we have Magic Powder to turn opposed Pokemon's typing into Psychic and then have Frost Moth. Moth absolutely just dump on it easily. So that's the plan we had to mean. Either pair it up with Frost Moth or with the Calyrex. Second Pokemon on our squad is going to be our Calyrex with As One and Weakness Policy. You guys already know the deal with this Pokemon. One of the best Trick Room Pokemons in the game. We got Lash Out, we got Trick Room, we got Glacial Lance for Stab, and then we got High Horsepower for our ground coverage move. Middle left is the Pokemon I cannot wait to showcase. We got Frost Moth over here. Little Bug Ice Moth over here. That's looking pretty strong. It's got Ice Skills, which is a really cool ability. It halves all the damage from special attacking moves. So if we're going up against a special attacker, if I can have this Pokemon out, it can absolutely bulk up shots left and right. We got the Life Orb, we got Ice and Bug type, and then the moveset is going to be Wide Guard, Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, and Blizzard. For two stab moves, Wide Guard for support, and then we got a nice little Giga Drain for our coverage and HP recovery move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Incineroar with the Safety Goggles, Intimidate, Fake Out, Flare, What's Part and Shot, Throw Chop. Everything's fairly normal. Don't really need to go over that Pokemon. Bottom left is going to be Roll Boom. Everything's pretty normal with that Pokemon, but I'll but I'll spill through it real quick. We got Grassy Surge, Miracle Seed, Protect, U-Turn, Fake Out for Flinches, and then we got Grassy Guide, obviously, for its uh, Lonesome Stab move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our second Restricted Mod, and that is going to be this lovely Kyogre. Kyogre's always been so solid. Really good in Dynamax, really good without Dynamax. I just love it all around. It's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Protect, and then it's got the Sea Incense that boosts its water damage. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the to code is at the bottom of the screen. But uh, without further ado, let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Frost Moth team. I just realized it is a brand new season. I absolutely adore playing in the brand new season because we go up against fun teams like this. Look at this. A Verizian team with Garchomp, Regilecki, Palkia, Thunderous, or not Thunderous, Tornadus, and then last but not least, he's got Amoonga. So pretty cool team right here. We got some nice little off meta. But one thing I want to check before I actually hop into this battle is I did not do no off screen like like practice with this team i just want to see this thing speed 86 so it is going to thrive in the trick room it's going to be really cool and yo dude this pokemon looks sick frost moth is so sick look at my boy dude look at my boy he's so sick but how should i play this one how should i lead it? i could go hatterene pop a trick room i do have the focus ash and i could like wide guard or do something with frost moth i'm, I'm thinking just going here and here it's looking pretty good for me it's looking really good for me i'm gonna go in with those two bring calyrex in the back end and last but not least kyogre Gotta roll the Kyogre. Gotta lock it in. Gotta lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before we start, you guys know the deal. Question of the day. Leave it to me in the comment section down below. We got, what are your top three favorite bug types? Since we're using one of the coolest bug types in the game at the moment. Frost Moth is so sick. I think he's definitely top three for me. I've always been a big fan of a Beedrill as well. I'm trying to think of like other cool bug types. I don't use a lot of bug types when I do like playthroughs and stuff. But there are a lot of cool bug types. Like a Vickavolt's really cool. I think Vickavolt is sick. There's a lot. There are a lot of cool bug types, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. So if you guys got any answers, you guys know the deal. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let's see who it ends up throwing out. It's going to go Regilecki. I'm going to with Amoonga, so this should be a free trick from Bob. I could Wide Guard here, too. I could indeed Wide Guard. I wish I had Protect. Could we Wide Guard? Just in case he wants to go for an E-Web. I think he might Dynamax here. He might Dynamax. I'm just going to pop a trick room, and I think I might just Dynamax on my own terms. I'm going to a Hail Swarm. So we are going to half that damage right there. Could actually drop special attack too. Could indeed drop special attack. I think a Hailstorm is going to be able to do a lot of damage here. You know, I'm just going to pop this. I'm just going to pop the Trick Room. I'm going to go into uh, Hailstorm. And I'm just going to Dynamax Frost Moth right off the rip. Because he should be able to eat up whatever Regilek he has to offer. Due to the sheer fact is uh, we have our nice little Ice Skills. Half damage for all special attack moves. That is amazing. That's an amazing ability. So we should be able to outbulk a lot of these shots. And get this trick room off. And then kind of just roll off from there. We can heal pulse. We can change typing from there. We can do it a lot. 
We can do a lot. But that noise is wild. That noise is wild. He's going to end up not dying. Is he going for an E-Web? He's going to go straight for a Thunderbolt. So is he double down into me? There's no way he can pick up the KO unless he's rocking Sludge Bomb, which is kind of scary. But Hailstorm's going to come out beforehand. Can we just pick up the straight KO with this? I hope we can so we get off free trick him, right? Beautiful, yo. Frost Moth coming in hot. Frost Moth coming in hot. So we get the KO. We uh, stay full HP with Frost Moth. And we get off Trick Room. That's a beautiful turn for us. That's a beautiful turn for us. Frost Moth getting after it. Trick Room's out and about. So now I can I can pretty much just roll out strong. I mean, if Red's like he has a Focus Hash, it is gone now due to this Buffet. And I could change typing of whatever Pokemon he has coming out. Which I'm thinking of doing with the Magic. And then just ripping into it with a... Uh, Wait, what's it called? A max flutter bomb because that does lower special attack, which is awesome. Which is so cool. So I get lower special attack here. He's gonna go into who is his Pokemon? He's gonna go into Palkin. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're we'll changing his typing. We're gonna rip this. I'm not dealing with it. I am not dealing with this Pokemon. I will magic powder that thing, change it down, and then we're just gonna rip into a max flutter by. Probably your best bet, right? Yeah, get the thing on out of here. And then we drop special attack as well. Oh my god, all two special attackers? That's gorgeous. He's gotta be Dynamaxing it. He is Dynamaxing it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I'm trying to think of Palkia's speed. I think I think Frost Moth should go second here. And I do not see his Pokemon really max guarding. Yo, Frost Moth? I'm loving this thing already. We 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 only hit one Pokeball with it. I'm loving this dude. Good old Frost Moth. I feel like it throws off a lot of people because a lot of people don't really know what Frost Moth does, you know? So we're gonna go from here. Regilecki's gonna protect. Oh baby. Regilecki's gonna protect. Regilecki protection. We magic powder this thing. We change his typing to psychic, so we coming in hot. Go ahead, Frost Moth. Go ahead, Frost Moth. Give it to him. Give it to him, Frost Moth. Coming in with a big old max flutter by. Big old damage. Bring it down to the red. And then more importantly, the drop on the special attack. Wow, yo, Frost Moth ripping. Frost Moth is not playing games. Frost Moth is not playing games. Any protected Regilecki. It's a huge turn for us. He's going to end up geysering. If that goes into Frost Moth, that's totally fine because, like, we have damage. But he's just going to take out Hattery, which I'm even. I'm so happy with that. Even though I want the sweep. But, like,. Had a ring being gone, we can just bring out Calyrex, and that pretty much wraps up the battle. Right? Because I can just go into a Glacial Lance, take out Palkia with that shot, and then come in hot with my Frost Moth move. I go into Kyogre, but now nah, we're in the Trigger. Oh my god, yo. What a dominating battle, yo. Frost Moth OP. This Pokemon's broken in Trick Room. This thing is ridiculous. And we haven't even shut off its bulkiness yet. Like, he hasn't hit me with a move yet. I would love for them to hit me with a move. I would absolutely love it. I would love it. But yeah, Glacial Lance gonna poke out here. Take out Palkia, no problem. And then uh the flutter by I could hailstorm, change the weather back if I want to. I don't lean towards. We're both ice type Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run it. But I think opponent might cancel battle. He does not. He does not cancel battle. So we're gonna deal damage like that. Just pick up the double KO. So now we have Frost Moth chilling here. And then we have a plus two Calyrex. It is it's all over with. That might have been the most OP trick room thing I, I've ever done. Frost Moth and Trick Room is insane. Insane, dude insane especially up against special attackers no special attacker is really going to kill it it has damage due to its ice scale abilities and then it has max flutter by when sign max we're just dropping special attack left and right so its ability soaks it up and then you have the drop on top of it this thing is insane it is insane he's gonna throw out his final pokemon it's going to be verizon 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 fios over here <laughs> and uh yeah it's 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 over it's over because my my, my boys should come in hot with the glacial lands and then I'm coming in hot with a blizzard. Coming in hot with a blizzard. Let's see what he does. Cancel battle. Please cancel battle. Actually, I hope you don't. Actually, I kind of do. And I just go for Glacial Lance. So you're dead anyway. Let's just get, get on out of here. You should have canceled the battle. Plus two Calyrex. Coming in hot with this move. You guys know it ain't surviving it. Hold on. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. What a first battle. An absolute dominant performance from the Trick Room Squad. Let's hop into our second battle. Look for another win. Battle number two coming at you guys, and we're going up against a G Max Pikachu squad. Okay, with Groudon, Charizard, and Shadow Rider Calyrex, and he's got the Wimscott and Gastron. I kind of want to leave Frostmoth just for the Y Guard setup. I feel like we can Y Guard and potentially trip from here. Right? It is sounding rather tasty, right? It is sounding rather tasty. So I might go in with these two. Or do we just go Hatterene? We have to focus on Hatterene, so I really do like that. So I'm going to go Hatterene. I'm going to go Frostmoth. I'm going to try to Y Guard turn one. Bring Calyrex. I think we're gonna bring the same squad. It's just looking really powerful here. We just have to watch out for Storm Drink Ashton. And do we have an ice move with this thing? That could be tough. We might not want to bring Kyogre if he doesn't have ice. No, he doesn't. So that could. Ah, I kind of want to bring Robum instead at this point. 
which I am going to do. I'm going to bring Roll Boom instead, just for that Grass God, because if we get Kyogre out with just Gastrodon, we can't do anything. Thunder doesn't affect it, and the Storm Drain just takes up the water move, so I just, I just don't think Kyogre's to play there. So we're going to go in with this squad again, and we're just going to straight up pop a Turkum, but we might have to set up a Wide Guard before, because he has multiple Pokemon with double-hitting moves. He has a Charizard with the Heat Wave, he has a Ground on with the Blades, and then he has, obviously, that Calyrex. Astral Barrage. Let's see what it is. He goes Calyrex and Ground on. Dude, I might be able to Wide Guard two moves here. Might be. I gotta drop a wide guard here. Does he know we're rocking wide guard? I can block one. Trick room set up perfectly for us. Big. That could be big time for us. That could be big time for us. Let's see what he wants to do. Let's see, let's see how this one plays out here. Please not go for a fire move. That could be scary. That could definitely be scary. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wide guard. One thousand percent have to drop a wide guard and drop the trick room. Wait it all day. I'm waiting all day. Let's see what he does. He's gonna dynamax. Oh no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Boss Boss might go down here. He might just drop a rock on me. I wonder what he's going to do. I mean, I would love for him to go after my Hatterene. And then Astral Barrage. Because we can trigger Focus Ash. And then we can get off uh, the Wide Guard block. Because we know that this thing's probably going for an Astral Barrage, right? This Calyrex. So as long as I can Wide Guard and stay alive and pop this trick room, it'll be huge. So Wide Guard from the Moth is coming out. Come on, Mothy Moth. Just me Astral Barrage. Bang. So there's the block. Go after my Hatterene. Go after my Hatterene. If he goes after my Hatterene, we'd be sitting so good. Just real quick. That's gotta be. That's in Hatterene. Okay, cool. So we have Trick Room out and about, which is just beautiful. A beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. We have Trick Room out and about. And what I could do here is actually change Kyogre's typing instead of changing the weather. I could change Kyogre's typing if I want to. What do I want to do here? I would love to get this minus one on a special attack. Board. I really want to Dynamax you. As much as I want a Hailstorm, I really... Hmm. I think a minus one on special attack would be big. And changing up the ground on sniping. I think that's my play. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Because a minus one onto the Calyrex is huge. And we can still chip up some nice damage on the ground on. I'm going to withdraw Calyrex. Okay, go through a special attacker, please. Okay, that's fine. Gastro's going to come out here. Gastro's coming out here. And we do have uh, overgrowth for that. I and mean, I do have a, uh, I do have what's called the back end. Dang, dude, ice would have been the play. Ice would have been the play. But I'm gonna dynamax frostbolt here. Ice would have been the play, just to change up the weather. We're hoping he's not rocking a fire move. Some of them don't. Some of them don't. But it might be rocking a rock move. And rock is scary. Rock is terrifying. See how this one plays. But we are changing his typing, which is great. And then we get off this flutter by. So minus one onto both these guys in special attack. It doesn't affect the on, but it will affect the what's going. It will affect the Gastron. So Gastron's now minus one. He might start popping yawns. I don't really know. I do not really know. But I'm kind of scared of this ground. Hopefully Groudon just takes out my Hatterene. That could be big time play. That could be big time for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's White Herb. Okay, I thought it was a uh, weakness policy. He's going to Rock Ball. Go after Hatterene, please. Let's go in there Frost Moth, isn't it? Frost Moth Soak. Frost Moth. No. Frost Moth, no. Dang, Frost Moth. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God dang, Frostmoth. I knew he was going to get dumped on by a rock. E. Okay, so Frostmoth goes down. He just pick up some big damage. I thought that thing was weakness policy, but he was white herb. But, um, how should we play this one? I could proc, I could proc policy. It had to be my play. I'm thinking it is going to be my play. I'm going to proc policy and just start Glacial Lance sending. Might probably my best bet. Might be my best bet here. Might indeed be my best bet. Let's do it. Let's send it. It's Glacial Lance Cross. Oh, he's... Dude, he's not... What's it called anymore? He's not, uh... He's not ground type anymore. <laughs> he's psychic. He's psychic. He's gonna end up protecting the Gastro. We could pick up this KO. This could be huge, but I don't know if we can. He's gonna guard. Okay, so we're just rocking piles here. At least now turns. That's fine. At least we get off something here. I could heal, heal Pulse from next turn if I want to. But still, we're just procking policy. So policy's gonna get proc. Um, he didn't waste out of the Dynamax turn, which is totally fine. Um, I think of what I could do from here. I could heal pulse, but like heal pulse isn't gonna do anything. Hatterene is gonna go first. Hatterene is gonna go first. But hmm, I could heal pulse at that HP. It might be better than nothing, you know. 
It might be better now because I should be able to dump on at least that uh, Groudon at this point. Maybe even the Gastron. So yeah, obviously we want to roll into this. How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. Two. Okay, that's huge. That's a huge two turns. And then Heal Pulse might just be reply, right? Get that HP back. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'll Heal Pulse. He'll withdraw the Groudon. Who's going to fly into here? Let's send a Charizard. So Charizard's not going to take too kindly this. Right? Charizard's not going to take too kindly. This, is, this could pick up some big damage. We're plus two, dude. Weakness policy's procced. So we're going to go up on the HP board just a little bit. This thing's going to be able to drop an Earth Power, and we should be able to suck that in the problem, right? All day. Beautiful. And of course, he gets my, he gets the drop. Special Fence is down. But we get off a big old Glacial Lance here. Big old Glacial Lance. This picks up KO. We could be sitting here. But we, we know he's going to protect next turn. That double KO? Thank you. Okay, so big time double KO. Um. We do have Robum in the back, so Robum could be tight nice. Uh, we do have one more turn left in Trick Room, and I can read this hard double protect and just swap the Hatterene at this point. Which I might have to do, right? I might have to swap the Hatterene. Oh, dude, I can make the biggest power move ever. I might make the biggest power move ever. I'm not even gonna lie. Who's throwing out here? Groudon? Who's gonna protect and waste out the Trick Room turn? Watch this one. Yo, watch this biggest power move ever. And Calyrex. Yo, he's obviously gotta go for double protect, right? Right? You gotta rip the double protect. You have to. He's gotta rip the double protect. I'm gonna make this hard read. He's gonna double protect. I'm gonna trick him with Hatterene and trick him with Calyrex so I can reverse the trick room and then set it fully again. Watch this mega read. Play of the year right here. Go ahead. Double protect. Double protect. I'm making the play of the year. Making the play of the year. I'm hoping he has protect on Calyrex. Ground's gonna protect. Calyrex, you got him. I don't think Calyrex is protecting. He does. Oh my god. I just outplayed him so hard. No way I just did that. No way I just did that. No way I just did that. <laughs> Yo, this guy is so upset. This guy is so upset. He's so upset. The biggest outplay of my life. This guy's probably like, bruh, no way he just did that. That was the biggest read ever. We can now Glacial Lance and just Brutal Swing across. Just in case I think it's a Focus Ash. That should be GG's, right? Oh my god, we just outplayed him. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a pokey god. Oh my god, yo, that deserves a like. Yo, we are playing out of our minds. Glacial Lance can come in here. Game, set, and match. Your boy Genes rolls out 2 0. Play of the year right there. Play of the year. Play of the year from any pokey tuber right here on the channel. Right here on the channel. The Frost Moth Squad is absolutely buzzing. I still cannot believe that I made that play in the last battle. The double Trick Room and the double Protect Read. Mwah. Amazing. Amazing. I have a tough time predicting one Protect, but when it comes to two Protects, I'm 100%. That's my first time trying to predict two Protects. And we popped the Trick Room, reversed it, and then popped Trick Room again to reset it. So we had it for the next turn and roll out strong there. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we are going up against a Trick Room team. He has Palkia. He has uh, Torkoal. He has Calyrex. Everything's all Trick Room, except for that Pheromone so with the Speed Swap, which is kind of a scary Pokemon. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I don't think Hatterene is necessary. I think Frostmoth could be rather solid here. With the Y Guard, could be beautiful. I kind of want to lead him. Maybe alongside with like Rillaboom, or I could even go like Kai Ogre. I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to go Kai Ogre, Frostmoth, bring Calyrex in the back end. And then last but not least, either Incineroar or Rillaboom. And I'm leaning towards Rillaboom on this play. I am leaning towards Rillaboom. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I think this one might be tough for us. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna rely on Frost Moth getting us some wide. But yo, the plays last game, oh my god, we had wide guard right off the rip, got that trick him off. But dude, that last play was amazing. It was either that or I was gonna swap my Hatterene into Rillaboom, predicting the protects, and then being able to take out the uh, take out the ground on with the Grassy Glide the next turn, and then turn it into like a two v one kind of situation. That's not too bad. We didn't do too bad. So um, he's just gonna go for a follow me here. I don't really mind. My Thunder, I could Dynamax Ogre. I could Dynamax Ogre, but I, I just don't think this play. I think Water Spout's gonna be my play. Um, no need for a Wide Guard. I could, could Dynamax the Moth. I could definitely Dynamax the Moth. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. I am really leaning towards Dynamax and the Moth here. Palkia is special. So I'm, I mean, I'm gonna Dynamax the Moth and just take out Ndidi with that. And then I could Origin Pulse Cross. But I might just protect my ogre. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect the ogre and just get rid of the uh 
the indie doobly over here and then get minus one onto the palkia okay frost moth coming in hot and the last battle we did lose frost moth rather quick it only got off one turn and half the hp onto the ground on until we just dropped one of those big slabs of rock that goes like this it's so like intimidating like imagine looking up at that thing and just seeing it come down like that <laughs> just smacked up on my moth it's four times super effective and dumped on him no problem but uh, yeah i'm gonna dynamax he's not dynamax That's surprising I have to pop a trick room, which I don't mind. I do not mind if you pop a trick room. Okay. I might go and follow me and just pop a trick room, but that thing's out in DD and gives a little bit of an upper hand in my Frost Moth. Frost Moth's phenomenal in trick room, and I am putting minus one onto the Palkia. But my problem is Torkoal. Torkoal is a problem when it comes in for the trick room. It changes up the weather, and it is four times super effective to my bug. But, ooh, we get, we get the block on that. Ooh, this is looking kind of scary. He's gonna, he's gonna expand and force me. We soak, yo. Look how, look how beefy this thing is. How beefy this thing is. Wow, did he read to protect? Wow, dude, we are beefing up. He does not pop a trick room. He does not pop a trick room. So Flutterby is coming in hot. I'm actually glad he didn't pop a trick room. It's like a thunder next turn. We do that. We go minus one on Palkia. That's huge. I'll dig it. I dig it. Minus one on Palkia. Like, see how much he was able to soak up that, uh, that Hydro Pump and that expanded force? It's amazing. Amazing, but bad protect by us on the Kyogre slot. Surprised he, he didn't go into Kyogre. I would have loved to drop a Thunder on that thing. So let's see who goes into here. Hopefully, Frostmoth is faster than whoever he has to send out. Might be Torkoal. It's going to be a Moogus. I'm fine. Rage Powder is probably going to come out here, and I might have to swap my boy here. I might have to swap my boy, but I'm just going to go Hailstorm. Finish you off. And then I guess we'll Thunder, but like, I swap Kyogre and save him for later. That might be my play at this point. Swap so my Kyogre in the Robo. So I would love to have Kyogre for uh, what's it called? I would love to have Kyogre for case he has Torque on the back end, which he might have. He might pop a Trick Room here. Might go for the Rage Pattern, pop the Trick Room. I would rather have that to change up the weather. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. He's gonna end up going for oh the Protect. Nice little Protect by him. I'll give it to him all day. Nice little Protect. And I do have fake out, so this is really good for us. Because I know Palkia cannot take me out. So, Hellstorm's going to come through here. I'm going to do a lot of... That did a lot of damage to protect. That did a lot of damage to protect, which I love. Did a lot of damage to protect. And we changed the weather, so Hydro Pump could not do as much as it did this turn. And what's he going to go for? I don't think he can take me out. He's minus one. He's going to pop Trick Room. Okay, so Trick Room's out. Um, I guess that's cool. I mean, I guess that's cool. At this point, who do I fake out? Amoongus? I do have fake out ready to roll. He might Dynamax the Palkia. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and then we have Calyrex in the back. It's bad. Uh, so I am wondering who he has in the back end. If Palkia's gonna Dynamax, I think I'd rather go for like a Flutterby. I might double down to this move because I just don't feel like dealing with the Spore, you know? I think Flutterby should be able to do enough damage to take that out. I'm just gonna fake out the move. Yeah, I'm not dealing with the Spores. You can't put my, uh, I think you can put my bug to sleep, right? Can the spore work on bug type? I know it doesn't work on grass. But I I don't really use too many bug type Pokemon to really know. So I'm just going to give the claps he's this Pokemon. We already have Palkia minus one. And if I can take out a Moongus and make it minus two, that could be, that could be a huge play. Because I just don't want that thing swapping out with the, with the minus special attack. Let's see. He's going to withdraw a Moongus. Who's he going to go into? Who's, who's going to have to take this, this Flutter by? This Calyrex. This Calyrex. This, this sad Calyrex. Isn't he psychic typing? So he's dead, right? So he's dead. So you're dead, right? You're dead. He's gotta be dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Get him out of here. He's dead. He's dead, yo. Frostmoth coming in hot. He's dead. Get him all. Get him gone. Frostmoth picking up the big time KO. We keep the weather and Palkia is now minus two. Not one, minus two. And he cannot swap. Yo, we're gonna go. Are we gonna go three 0 with Frostmoth? We still have Calyrex in the back and he popped Trick Room. This was a big mistake by him. I guess for Hydro Pump, we should be able to soak. Ice scales in minus two. Oh my god, yeah, GG's. GG's. Now I can freely send blizzards. He does still have Dynamax, but it's just like, it's like whatever. It's like whatever. Okay, cool. So at this point, I'm just gonna send blizzards, and I guess I'll grass glide. Or I could U-turn pivot. I could U-turn pivot while the trick comes out and about. I think I'm gonna U-turn pivot into my Calyrex, just so I can get Robin back out there for a fake out later in the match. This is GG's though. GG's. He got Dynamax a minus two Palkia. It's ugly. That thing did regenerate, which is kind of awful. He did regenerate. 
he's back up to pretty much full HP, and I'm just gonna send this. And I'm just gonna you turn out. He might protect again, but he might have to cancel. Like, like we we got such a big upper hand. He has to Dynamax Palkia here, right? Yeah. So we Dynamax the Palkia, and I'm chilling with that because, like I said, we forced it into staying in and having it minus two. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. The Frost, this Frost Frostmoth team, incredible, incredible. <laughs> That's why I love playing in a new season. It's a lot of fun. You get out, you go up against a lot of like off meta teams. It's like the one off meta team we didn't go up against. But I'm thinking, don't protect. He's gonna spore me. I knew it. That's why I want to pick it out last turn. So he spores me. How dare you? And are you gonna take out my frost moth? I wonder. I wonder. He's gonna worm one straight up. Who are you going after? Go after him, my Robum, which is totally fine. So you go after Robum. I'm you turning out. I'm out of here. And I'll bring out Cali Cali. I will bring out Cali Cali. Thing is, we turn out of here. Should be able to chip up a nice amount of damage. Probably bring. Oh wow! I thought it was super effective. Why do I think it was super effective? I don't know why. I thought it was. I was gonna say it should it should should have done more than that. I'm bringing out Calyrex while Trickum is still out and about, and Frostmoth is asleep. But one problem is going to be that that little booger right there. I might have called. I might have called victory a little too early here. What do I do? How many turns left in Trickum? He's gonna put me to sleep. He's put me to sleep. I didn't realize this move is gonna, gonna roll strong like that. Okay. Um, I could protect. Which might have to be my play. I might have to protect my Calyrex here. How many turns? It depends how many turns left in Trick. Two. Yeah, I can definitely protect this turn. I can definitely protect this turn. Try to land this Blizzard. Uh, Trick Room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not trick him. Oh, I don't have protect. I do not have protect. So let's like go for Glacial Lance. He's putting me to sleep though. Hundred percent. He's like here, have another spore. Ah, dang, I'm moving some trick him. I would have loved to protect, but Frostmoth, can you wake up here? Frostmoth, can you uh, wake up here? Be beautiful. You already sleep on turn. Wake up. Yes, Frostmoth. Yes, Frostmoth. Take out a Moongus. Yes, Frostmoth. I love you, yo, Frost. And he gets to freeze. And he gets to freeze. Frostmoth is OP. This Pokemon is broken. I haven't used a Pokemon this good in so long. Like, this Pokemon feels ridiculously strong. Frostmoth's the man. Doing so much damage in Dynamax. Has great drops for special attack because, he's you know, he's buggy. You don't get to use that a lot. Picks up a freeze. Wakes up early. This dude just has no weaknesses. And he has ice scales. Oh my God. Ice scales is ridiculously strong. I'm telling you, yo, this Pokemon is so good. We go for uh, we go for another Blizzard, which is probably our play, right? But Bug Buzz just looks cool. Bug Buzz just looks cool, but I'll drop another Blizzard. It's 100% accuracy in hail. Gonna do a lot of damage. And that's gonna be GG's. That's gonna be GG's. Cancel battle. Oh, it's a sweep. It's gonna be a sweep. It is a sweep. We had all four Pokemon. You gotta love it. Three and O absolutely dominated with Frostmoth. You guys thought Zacian was overpowered. You guys thought Shadow Rider Calyrex was OP. You guys thought Kai Ogre was the best Pokemon in the game, but nah. Put them all aside. We got a new king on the ladder. It is Frostmoth. This Pokemon was super, super strong and so much fun to use. Cannot wait to use them again, maybe in the future, because I'm telling you guys, that was absolutely amazing. Frostmoth put on a show, went 3 0, was amazing in Dynamax, put up some amazing wide guards, woke up early, even gave us a freeze at the end. He was just insane but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots the video today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody